Hi, I'm Nellie Gill and I want to be a superhero! And this week the superpower I'm trying to get is the power of super throwing. And to be honest, it's going really well. Watch this! It's so cool! Take that buddies! I mean, take that pot plant! There aren't really any baddies in my lab. It's very secure. Phew. So my superpower throwing arm works really great. But with all the throwing practice that I'm doing, my arm does actually get a bit tired after a while. I wonder if I can build a machine with a lever that would do the throwing for me. Like a, uh, what do you, what do you call a throwing machine? Oh, it'll come to me. Anyway. I need a machine that has a lever just like my elbow. It'll need a fulcrum in the middle so that when I push down on one end, the other end goes up. I need a... I need a super seesaw! It's not the word I was looking for, but it'll do until I think of a better one. Now, normally seesaws aren't that super, but I'm going to make one with a difference. A special throwing seesaw that I can operate using just the force of one finger. If I use just one finger to try and throw a projectile, it wouldn't go very far at all. Hmm. But the lever takes the force applied at one end and increases it, so we can lift heavy things with the minimal amount of effort. But for this experiment, you will need blue tack, a bit of string or a rubber band, a tube from kitchen or toilet roll, and a spoon with a long handle. Let's start with the most basic version of this machine. And if it works, we might be able to move up to a more complicated version tomorrow. So this tube is going to be our base. I'm going to place the spoon on top, and then I'm going to tie it with the string. If you don't have string, you can also tie it with a rubber band. So I'm gonna cross over once, like this. And then I'm going to cross over the other way. I'm going to tie it once over, cross it over, tie it the other way, and put a knot to secure. So, it looks like this, with a cross over here. Now, what you're going to do is use a little bit of blue tack on the bottom of your tube so that it doesn't roll anywhere. And there you go, we have a seesaw. Really simple. And I know it doesn't look very much like a seesaw, but, if anything, I'd say it looks more like a... A catapult! That's the word I was looking for! A catapult is a throwing machine! So glad I remembered that. Now, before you try to launch anything with this, you might want to set up some targets. You can either maybe find some little egg cups or egg cartons and use those, or I have made a little box out of paper. Super simple but you want something that you can try and aim your projectile into. So I'm gonna put my box here. And now, time for the moment of truth. First, I'm gonna see if my catapult works. So I'm gonna take my foil projectile, and then here we go. What, you wanna be fired, Nana Nana Gil? No, no way, because you're gonna steal all my cookies. You can stay there. Okay, here we go. We're just gonna use one finger, remember. Three, two, one. Look at that! Amazing! Our catapult works! Okay, let's try this again and see if it goes a little bit further. If I move this lever, so the spoon end with the bowl is longer. Here we go. Go for the one finger again. Three, two, one. Ah, oh, that did go further! I didn't get it into my box though. Might need to move my target. Okay, I will see you tomorrow for the final step in our super throwing experiment. Wait, what's that? Nana Nana girl says she misses being part of the experiment and she's willing to be thrown tomorrow even if she doesn't get a cookie. Huh, well I might just take you up on that. I will see you tomorrow and I'm going to try and move this target and get this in there today. See ya!